you have a Formula 1 wheel from Fanatec or any other Fanatec wheel and you want to adapt it for Simucube or any other wheels on the market? Well, in this video you're gonna see how you can do that. Well, I'm gonna show you how you can convert your Fanatec wheel to USB so you can make it as absolutely standalone device and you can use it with all the range wheel bases available on the market if you have the proper adapter. Let's dive in. The first step is you're gonna need your kit and I will give you an option here from Sim Racing Machine but this is by any means not any sponsored video so if you have any other information from other companies please let me know in the description below so i can add different links and people have more choices but in our case sim racing machine super trusted on the sim racing market only good feedbacks from them i use them for four years super happy anyway you can see they have so many different options for different wheels and in our case we're gonna use the Fanatec Formula V2 wheel conversion kit here and as you can see they have different options here for quick releases so be careful and choose the proper one you're gonna need for your specific wheelbase and then they have the next option for the USB cable but I can tell you the standard quality USB cable is absolutely sturdy and really really great quality so you don't have to spend extra money on that if you don't feel you need to. And also take a note that if you scroll down just below the description of the product you will find the fitting instructions so click here and new window will pop up with all the instructions. Now those instructions are very well made and I suggest you have to read those carefully because there is few sticking points and you have to be ready and I also I'm gonna show you how I did that let's go there but let's talk first why you will do that well there is several reasons and one of those is you may be already on the Fanatec ecosystem but you have heard for Simulcube so many good things and you want to migrate but you don't want to spend a thousand euro for a new wheel well you can convert your existing Fanatec wheel and use it with the Simulcube the other reason is like I did I just like it so much that Formula V2 from Fanatec so I just got it and converted to use it with my Simulcube and that being said, the reason of that video is really to give you confidence because I'm sure there is so many people who are afraid to open electronics and they're really scared that something can go wrong. But I promise you, it's freaking simple. There is not many things can go wrong and I will show you in that video a few sticking points where you really have to be careful and the rest is just a game, really. So you can do that. Once the adapter kit all right and you have it into your hands you have to make sure that you have those set of tools you need a really proper good set of allen keys and then you're gonna need tiny screwdriver and you're gonna need also a razor now one of the sticking points with this job is that's the reason and I said you're gonna need a proper allen key is because Fanatec really use quite soft not very good quality bolts so you have to be really careful when you unscrew the bolts you have to push the allen key really inside and then keep it completely straight because if you deform the bolt you will stick there and that's gonna be a bit of headache i have seen some people have problem with this so i never had one but 
that was because I really used that high-end Allen key set. Now, the next ticking point is once you unscrew all the drivers and open the wheel, you have to unplug the connection between the quick release and the board of the wheel. And Fanatec love to use those glue and keep the connection together. So take the riser and take your time, just very carefully from the side, start cutting that black glue around till you take of the header because if if you push too much you maybe destroy the the connection there and as you see it's really piece of cake really just read carefully the fitting instructions be careful with the two sticking points i already show you i'm gonna link on the description below a video of the entire process of how i convert my own wheel and it's done. Nothing special. So, that being said, happy racing and see you next time.